my gosh, double decker. Yeah. Real life London. What's up travel friends? In today's video I am taking you on a quick hostel tour around the place that I was staying at for the last six nights while I was at a conference in London. Now for this trip I stayed at St. Christopher's Inn at London Bridge. St. Christopher's has hostels around Europe and they have several throughout London but I decided on this one because it was actually about 15 minutes away from my conference location and it's also just a very central location. So the hostel itself is actually directly above a traditional English pub with just a ton of different beer selections and discounts that they offer for people who stay who are staying at the hostel. There are some drinks that you can buy two for the price of one, which is pretty cool, and it's also really great for meeting people. It has live music every night starting at 11 p.m., which is really cool, and it's also, from what I've heard, one of the only places that's actually open fairly late till 2 a.m. Um, around this area, so there's a lot of locals that actually come here, and it's just, I love it so much because everyone's just, you know, there's, there's, there's a guy playing his guitar and singing, and people are singing along and drinking and merry, and it's absolutely fantastic and to be honest I've been at this conference for about 12 hours each day between the different speakers and networking events that are happening afterwards and happy hours so I was getting back home pretty late I didn't really want to explore London too much because I was exhausted so it was really nice to just be able to go downstairs and meet people um, and have a good time and it's a really cool area in general just to stay at so I was really grateful for that and it's also a five minute walk away from the tube so it's really easy for doing like you know the touristy things when you book directly through their website and not hostel world you can actually get free breakfast for your stay otherwise it's three pounds at least when I'm visiting it so definitely book online to get the best deal which I didn't do so learn from my rookie mistake your bed is also made when you arrive instead of um, if you check out my other video on what a hostel is really like um, I go into oftentimes hostels don't actually make your bed for you yeah they just give you the sheets and you have to put everything on you know put, put on the pillowcase and put on the, the covers and everything so it's made which is really nice because for me it took me a basic a full day to get here from Seattle so it was really nice to just be able to get there at 1 p.m. drop my stuff off and get into bed and not have to make my bed it actually felt like a total luxury to just be able to lay down and take a nap when I finally got to my hostel all right enough blabbering I'm gonna take it inside now So we've got reception when you walk in and it's also a bar, which is pretty cool and it extends all the way down there, which is fantastic. It's only 5.35 right now, uh, but it's already, as you can tell, there's sort of getting a little bit busy. Aside from the breakfast for the hostel specifically, there's also food because it is a pub, so you can get your lunch or dinner as well. It makes things really easy not to have to leave. And there's also free luggage storage, which is pretty convenient if you need to arrive early but you can't check in yet, or you need to check out but your flight or your transportation isn't until later. So that's, that's always a plus. So we're gonna go up the stairs. There's only one flight of stairs, luckily. Unlike the last hostel I stayed in, which was the third flight, which really sucks when you have a um, suitcase that you're trying to cover. So only one flight of stairs here. And I have a six person bedroom. So that's what the bed looks like when you come in. So you've already got your blankets and your pillow and all you have to do is get in bed and you don't need to make it. I am up here. So you got this really cool brick exterior. You got a full length mirror, which is nice for when I was picking out my outfits for the conference. And then there are three bunks in this room, so it's a six-person shared room. Below each bunk, there's a set of lockers for you to use. Just be sure to bring your own lock, or I guess they have some to rent downstairs. That's where I'm keeping my stuff, personally, because I take security very seriously. And this is probably my favorite thing. With each bed, you get one of these little light strips, so it's actually... So you've got a light, there's two USB chargers, and there's outlets for both UK and European style plugs, which is pretty convenient if you do not have a UK plug. So this is super nice because I can charge not just my cell phone, 
not just my portable charger, not just my laptop or my camera battery, but all of these things at once and use my light and it's just super convenient because you can charge multiple things at a time which is really nice when you compare it to some other hostels that might only have one or two outlets and I'm actually gonna show you the bathroom too because I feel like that's important the bathrooms are not in the room but that's okay they're shared but you get a shower and toilet in each stall there's no one in here hurry we're not invading anyone's space there's a hair dryer which is pretty cool so you don't have to bring your own toilet obviously showers kind of funky looking makes me feel like I actually live in like a UK place and I think this is really funny because I'm actually vlogging in the bathroom right now but this is kind of an interesting thing that you're er, that uh, British people do is they have one faucet for cold water and one faucet for hot water instead of combining them so uh, not unique to this hostel definitely unique to the UK not sure why they do it but there's that Thanks for coming to the bathroom with me. I hope it wasn't too weird. It's very intimate, I feel like, to take people into the bathroom, right? So that's the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please hit that thumbs up button or leave a comment below. That really helps my channel out. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And if you've never stayed at a hostel before or you're curious what they're like, be sure to check out my What Are Hostels Like video for some insights about what to expect. And I'll talk to you later. If you've never stayed at a hostel before, oh my god, they're so loud. It really did feel like a luxury after a long time of traveling. Love being able to go down to the bottom. Oh, hey! Hey! How you doing? Do you need to be let up? Well, I just need to chase in the room. Okay. You just vlog, you're just such a vlogger. <laughs>